I don't think we really even had an idea how many mental health related calls for service officers were responding to. Um, now that we've been tracking it for a while, we're really getting a good idea of just the sheer volume of mental health crisis that people are experiencing in the community. In 2020, Omaha Police Department's 911 had 2,688 mental health dispositions. Since January of 2021, OPD has already had 820 mental health dispositions, and it's estimated they'll have approximately nearly 3,200 by the end of this year. The sheer exposure to a traumatic incident, you know, whether they're a victim of a crime or, you know, due to some chaotic circumstances in their home, they're exposed to some pretty unfortunate events. That all has a really lasting impact for people, and a lot of times law enforcement gets involved in those kinds of calls. That's why OPD has been funneling more resources into mental health support for the past two years with the creation of its Behavior, Health, and Wellness Unit, not only to offer support, but to normalize asking for help. It really is a stigma to get help and to see a therapist. You know, you don't want people to, to always know if you're doing that, but we have to kind of normalize that behavior and make it okay for people to know it's okay to get help. As part of its unit, the CORE Squad, which stands for Collaborative Outreach Response Engagement, assists officers with calls related to mental health. The squad helps connect those in need with assistance to resources and community agencies so individuals aren't left alone in a bad situation. Back in the day, I, I don't think a lot of people were trained with mental health. I don't think that um, they had an understanding of what it was like for somebody to go through crisis. And so there was the rush to either get them to a hospital or to get, you know, it, if it was just going to be a generating a report and then to move on, leaving that person without uh, really resources to uh, to move out of that crisis. Officer Lee Culver says the shift now has been for officers to ask more in-depth questions, listen, be familiar with helpful organizations and partners, and understand that just because someone has mental health issues, it's not an indicator for criminality. The classes we have are in medications and diagnosis and how to communicate with the elderly and how to communicate with the youth because those are unique populations and then you put a mental health issue on top of that, it even, you know, becomes sometimes more of a challenge. And just because the core squad is called, it also doesn't mean there's an issue. It simply could be letting people know help is available. For example, we had a mother call the police department and she was from out of state and her son had just moved to Omaha and has mental health issues. She said, I'm concerned, he's, you know, a young kid. He's here on his own, we want to make sure that he's okay. So we actually sent officers and a co-responder with his permission just to give him some resources because his parents were so far from home. Especially with the difficulty of this past year's hardships, mental health coordinator Lindsay Kroll says she hopes the unit will continue to grow. We know that we're seeing an increase in suicides. We know that we're seeing an increase in suicide attempts. People are struggling. Um, and so my goal is to really build this unit up to have it as a specialized response on all shifts. So that all calls that do come in get answered in the right way. I think it's giving a lot of people hope because uh, it is offering the community uh, some, some resources to be able to, to heal from trauma, to move forward from moments of crisis.